Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 29th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun, 304 angstroms, as we do have earth-facing coronal holes, three sunspots to talk about, and as well some active sun activity in the northern hemisphere having a look at the last 48 hours incoming on the right hand side watch as we had a cme take off from the middle there and as well a very active incoming cresting region right there last 48 hours outgoing no major events to talk about a couple flashes from the departing sunspot but the big deal today is our coronal holes, which we're already seeing space weather effects from that. And as well, the plasma filament eruption that took off from the northern hemisphere of our sun right here. Watch for a small explosion and the plasma to rip away. Very active incoming region. Multi-spectrum, the last 48 hours of events. Active region there, CME projected. Could give us a glancing blow, but probably not. It is more northern, but still a very active incoming spot. We're going to be keeping an eye on that. And as well, the plasma filaments that are stretched across both hemispheres right now. Having a look at another light, you can see coronal holes are earth-facing right now. And we've already seen an increase in the solar wind speed as we are over 500 kilometers per second right now. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory and as well put together here with daily events worldwide. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Much love and prayers to everybody affected by Hurricane Ian. Solar X-ray flux remains heightened in a C-class range. It's been firing off the last little bit in an Earth-facing position. Looking at the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing a CME taking off from our sun. But it is, as I said, in a more northern fashion, but set to give us a glancing blow this weekend coming up. Looking at a real-time solar wind as we're sitting at about 513 kilometers per second right now. And you can see right there, this is where we started to really see the coronal hole wind stream affecting our magnetosphere. Have a quick look here at our pressure planes for our magnetosphere. This is how our pressure looks right now on our planet. And we've seen an increase in seismicity across the world. Minor earthquakes continue in Yellowstone, but nothing major. Having a look here at Alaska 2, showing the last 48 hours of events on our sun. Watch on the top left-hand side there, very bright, fiery region getting ready to shoot something out. So stay tuned for our next update. We'll give you an update on what is firing away from our sun. Amazing images here. Bright region firing off in the northwestern region of our sun. There's a lot of activity coming our way. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a strong power of 40. Quick, quick observation here of the telemetry. Quality of 7.8, power of 21, amplitude of 40. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. As it's been busy, we were sitting up over 330 earthquakes yesterday across the USGS. But we're going to start out here with the largest the last 24 hours, a 6.5 ring out. South Sandwich Islands at a 10 kilometer depth as well as 5.4 today. So increased activity there. Quiet through South America, only reporting 4.7 here at Peru yesterday. Central America reporting a 4.3 there. Panama as well as 4.6. Interesting activity into the Caribbean plate here. Antigua and Barbuda, 4.3 earthquake there. 5.5 notable here 
East Pacific rise, 10 kilometer depth. Quiet across the North American plate. Well, lots of minor activity around California, but still a bit concerning here with this earthquake swarm in the North Atlantic, Rick James Ridge, 5.7 ringing out today. They've seen dozens of earthquakes there. 4.1 reported here in Greece. Quiet across the Indian plate and notably quiet through Japan. 4.5 there, Peninsula, Russia. 4.9, Bonin Islands, south of Japan as well. 5.1 there, uh, Marianas Trench, 5.4, Papua New Guinea, as well, Vanuatu, 4.1, 293 kilometer depth. That's the deepest today, but the deepest the past 24 hours was in the Tonga region, 4.3, 546 kilometer depth occurred yesterday. As well, to notable earthquakes in the Gulf of California, 5.4 and a 4.2, Baja, California, that was reported yesterday. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. Bit concerning here, North Atlantic, Rick Jeans Ridge, what's going on there? Give you a quick look here at the last seven days across the planet for earthquakes. Much love again, everybody, and prayers to everybody affected by Hurricane Ian. Millions of people still without power as it is set to rage and rake up the eastern seaboard of the United States. Very notable action there, North Atlantic. And as well, south, southern hemisphere towards Antarctica, South Sandwich Islands. Now let's get to weather here for the next few days. Brought to you by Ventusky. Having a quick look here at forecast models for Hurricane Ian as it is just off the coast of Orlando right now and it is going to be grinding its way into both Carolina states over the next couple days bringing in torrential downpours. Of course, hurricane force winds as it may increase to a Category 2. It is now a Category 1. Notable here, lots of snowflakes falling. Parts of Quebec as well. A notable system here developing out of Wyoming, a low pressure system there. Could see some snow falling in higher elevations. And then carrying on here with forecast into next Monday. So Hurricane Ian is not going to affect the Atlantic provinces of Canada. It is going to shift eastward into the middle of the Atlantic. But by next Wednesday, you will have another system on Canadian doorstep as that low heads into the Atlantic provinces. Low pressure heading in by next weekend for parts of Ontario. And as well, a deepening polar vortex here developing over Eastern Canada and lots of moisture flooding up over Alaska. So it's gonna be an interesting season, folks. Long range forecast showing another tropical system raking up the Eastern seaboard and as well, some more tropical systems developing here in the Atlantic. One is set to be pretty strong here. Heading through southern or through the Caribbean. And most likely making landfall southern Mexico. Parts of Guatemala. Now let's have a quick look here at our upper atmosphere. Our winds at upper levels right now showing a forming polar vortex. Things are set to change here in the next couple weeks. As we are in autumn, we can expect it, but we're going to see some big changes here. Quick show of the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. And as well, I wanted to share here what our upper level winds looked like at last year during this time. Go back to 2021. And we had strong winds across the equator that are not there right now. Look at the winds compared to now. So definitely things have changed across our planet. Let's carry on here to South America. 
Daily evaporation rains, low pressure system heading up into Paraguay this week. Other than that, no major systems affecting you in the long range. Overlooking Africa, drying out this week, except for western parts, western shorelines of Africa. Could see some pretty strong systems there. Overlooking Europe, scattered showers through central parts, moving eastward along the trough line. And as well, we've got a pretty strong system heading down from Iceland to affect the United Kingdom. And as well, tropical lows from the Atlantic heading up into the same path. Looks like they're going to be heading up into Iceland and Greenland for the long range. Overlooking Southeast Asia, we've got tropical storm Noru that has made landfall in Thailand. Watch for that low pressure system to continue on westward into India, parts of Pakistan. Overlooking Australia. You've got a low pressure system heading into western parts and will slowly make its way across the continent, bringing stormy conditions to eastern and southeastern parts. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smack that like button, comment, and let me know where you're watching from. Much love to everybody and a big shout out to all of the members. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. We'll see you next video now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.